Greetings, uh, fellow Amazonians. Today is Saturday, number three day for this month, for February, for this new year, 2024. My name is Kapo Daniel, one of own countryman, Sense Pass King, one village champion, Lokong, Mr. No Kony. I then come again for give una a daily podcast where my program will bring una the truth, honest reporting for help una make una get information that will be critical for our liberation struggle. So today we no go start them like before because we know already which way did it happen for inside our country and Bazonia. I then get a lot of feedback for our people them. We then talk to the interview, the phone conversation we get done with uh, Rosemary. It then helped them make them understand. And that's a big challenge that we get done for our struggle. Because you get people where they reinforce um, this information campaign. This information campaign means say, you did try for lie about some person. You did talk to way not be true. You did try to present something with some person they talk and make it mean another thing will not be the thing with the person in mean up. And this type of thing that they bring many confusion amongst our people, them they don't know the left or the right, they don't know who for believe them, who not for believe them. So we then put a devaluation and some people that they ask Kapo, wait till be on a stand. Are you people fighting for independence or not? So I want to make it be clear for Una. Say we fight for independence. But when you fight some fight and you realize and say way for win in no day, you de try for win in another way. The way we would want to take and for reach for independence, because we we'll know so we don't miss the chances we'll feel win them now. Now for try for feel secure the independence in the future. Now why that word it always talk independence if not now in the future. It could be a tragedy if we make them make it not be possible for we to get independence, not only now but also in the future. So it be critical. And I then give the example for UK, when the example will the follow them, down with the Northern Ireland or the Scottish people, them, they know if you win their war against Britain, then decide for remain as the United Kingdom in a devaluation where they devour, then give them autonomy, where they preserve their identity and their flag. So the team will propose them, the team will give we our identity, our territorial integrity, our flag. And we will be able to govern ourselves and for vote our official them. It will be able to preserve the uniqueness for our territory. Like now we come around their special statutes that are divided we into Northwest and Southwest, two houses of assembly. We will get one house for legislature where we could make real laws and we could govern our territory, not be uh, superficial thing them. Our boy the way they don't sacrifice, our parent the way they don't who goes down for these seven years. They don't already win. The day we come around, we decide say they go can hold that grand national dialogue for accepting we poor be able to deny. Thing we are telling you poor be the talk say it no go ever happen. Thing we kunyam titles and all the hook longs and vampires for the republic and the Ferdinand Gongo, they be the talk say Cameroon no go ever green. Then can she don't then green say yes. There is indeed an anglophone problem where it stem from the root causes on how we the two Cameroon they become joined together the Southern Cameroon and the French Cameroon. So now the big victory that now now for we for move forward because if we still insist where Cameroon it don't change their position, we still insist for independence, it give the poor be the advantage, now the honest thing that we did it. And uh, nobody only so now the right thing for doing. When it comes for physical war, no matter the gun they own at the Siam, the fighting war they do for ground. In the intensity, it never measure up to anything where if it lead us forget even recognition, let alone for have independence. Yes, we do our best. We be happy when we kill La Republic. But the killing of La Republic, their military, from the beginning of this war, the total figure in over reached 30,000. I mean, say, more we talk true for ourselves. And there is a reason I choose to do these things now. It never make a dent to La Republic. The shock, initial shock way like the public will get them, it will also be as a result of their economic part partner, the way they be pulled out of their country. I will give you a little bit statistic, make you know. Yes, we would that make the territory ungovernable, but the international community also they don't come with terms for the ungovernability of our territory. And they don't decide they need to see press Cameroon about the legitimacy way they get them for govern us 
and to create parliamentarians and mayors and all those things. So even when we make Ami be ungovernable, it need add or subtract anything for La Republic. It only hurt Nawi because of Witi. They are not interested in democracy in Africa. They are more interested in human rights to an extent, not even to the way we want them. Now, why that way Cameroon says that don't give up for that thing where they always try for can install DOs and SDO for proof for the world to then be in control. Now, even the military control of our territory, even for the long term, it be acceptable when a very bad scenario where it means a killing would go on perpetually forever like we see for other country them. So when I talk say me will take self-governance, you know me I say I talk say me will live independence. Now we for we forget for independence. If Cameroon if fail for for accept the solution why they propose them, it will rekindle the international community. They are hopeful we for talk say these people they know be people where they be willing for maintain our human right. They are not reasonable. So this is the right thing for us to do. It get a future for our soldier them where it could be noble than the DDR way they force them they now was so that they could be able for take the victory with the Rangitam, for be able for integrate themselves into our commun our our municipal police force way we go create them. When that if we win this uh, autonomy. Some people they always talk so why they talk say if we win I mean say Mrs. I no be sure. Yes, we we'll still fail if our people they not come around or they allow the hardliners and for dominate our struggle. With the hardliners and first they don't get anything for offer. Now either way they always rely on disinformation and misrepresenting what we say. They spend their times to lie and they are now becoming more dangerous because their desperation, they are killing innocent people, burning our palaces. These are not things that people are made in have made up, trying to drive away francophones, making us to isolate Chris. I know come out the other day and was saying that he wants to serve our ties with the United Nations. All those things will address them detailedly when we address the letter that um, Comrade in Norway, uh, Agbo, Derek, wrote a, a letter to us. We will respond to that letter properly with the respect for him and people who have those questions about the oppression of humanitarian workers and the United Nations in our territory. So we have to be very smart. When you fight independent, now wait, now we say independent, you need to come or come. Independent, now it comes from recognition. And it come from the United Nations. We'll be sure say it not be possible at this moment. La Republic, the economy, I will give another statistics. Before this struggle, it won't start. For 2015, their GDP it will be now for 32.2 billion. When this struggle start, it increased by like 1% to 33.8 billion. 2017, when the struggle it will be pick up. The Cameroon economy it actually grew with double digit their their GDP it grew to thirty six from thirty three to thirty six. Two thousand and eighteen it double it go from thirty nine from thirty six to thirty nine three digit. Now the time that will be start focus for CDC we have been bring uh, this were picking the way them born rubber them. The shock wave it be be as a result for the highest heat wave Cameroon be done receive them. We CDC will be completely shut down between 2018 and 2019. Their GDP is shrink from 300 and uh, from 39.9 billion to 39.6 billion. That one at the first time where their GDP it dropped. Cameroon they began pressure for start the Swiss talk. They began pressure for do everything, but for 2022 it grew back to 40 billion, 4.7 billion. So. By now, it don't even quadruple. The Cameroon government, it don't secure the biggest fundamental for their economy when a petrol with this Chinese company where it will come for help them for stabilize them. So, person where if you see the cost of the occupation, it go up. No, Cameroon, they instead make more benefit. And instead, the poor beer and the bulu beti click, they even get the highest advantage. Now, why that way the poverty gap it only grow wider, both for francophones and for anglophones. They use the war for silence, their critic, even their population, it be timid for revolt during this time where war they go on from Bazunia. The consciousness of Cameroon, everybody know that there is a war in Ambazonia, and they also know that they are fighting real terrorists in the northern part of their country. So the only thing we we'll achieve them now now for resist. For delegitimize the regime where the delegitimization is still it don't get zero effect now for international diplomacy. 
so we can continue to do that as a leverage and make sure we can still put our finger in Cameroon nose and show them that we also have power. We must continue to fight and resist. The proposition we are proposing will secure Ambazonia a mini constitution with our charter for rights and freedom that will guarantee the respect of human rights for our citizens. We will transform our ongoing fighters into municipal police and fighters will be given jobs with huge settlement for them, for the good job they have done for our community. This is a future that we are fighting for, for our people, and we believe with our current international partners that we have secured for Ambazonia and the state interest that we have, we are going to have enough international support to break Cameroon uh, defense diplomatically. We are very sure of that. Even within the regime, we have seen flexibility that they have never seen since we, 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 we changed our demand from demanding independence to demanding autonomy. We have seen flexibility. All of you have seen how they handled the issue of a big number. We had access. I spoke to Cameroon generals in the north. I've spoke to their top generals to have discussion, to lobby them, to do the right thing. We have come to know how the regime work. We know the power structure. We know who decide what. We know how it works. There have been some very controversial things that I have been able to ask them, which is paining to our people. The Cameroon army, the atrocities. Some of their generals are claiming that some of those soldiers are loose because of the declaration of war. They can basically do what they want for revenge and things like that. These are not justifiable. But we are not living in a perfect war. We are living in a war that they don't respect us Africans. We can jump up and down. We will go nowhere because the international community, like Thibault Nagy and many people have come to inform you, our subject does not even rank in their mind. They don't even think about it. So, but we are capable of maneuvering our ways to get our case. Over 110 countries have officially made their position and their opinion about this struggle known. I have presented those things to you. So you people should know who I am. We fought for this struggle. We started, I started doing podcasts from China and Asia far before this struggle started. From morning to night, we are the ones who made our national anthem acceptable to our people. We become models, taking pictures, making our flags. The highest amount of flags that have been hoisted in Ambazonia history was hoisted by me, Capo Daniel. With this, our power of tight will help me a lot to do just that. When Power Fongala 4 handed me the responsibility during 2017, 18, where Seseko declared our independence, I did that job to make sure that there was a beautiful flag every village in Ambazonia. And we have continued to do that. We are responsible from propaganda to making our case to our people. During the time we were having negotiations in Canada, we had ability and capacity to do research work. One of the things that me and Ayabacho did was we appointed a professor from Norway to investigate the case we Ambazonia have always been making, that we are not part of Cameroon, we have never been part of Cameroon because we don't have a union treaty. I have a cho choose a professor who did a research and their result was that our argument was wrong. Just because we don't have a union treaty with La Republic does not mean that we are not part of La Republic. Countries are recognized, their borders depend on the United Nations Secretariat. The union we have, based on the quote, we always quote the United Nations resolution. That resolution was found to be a non-binding resolution of a General Assembly, which is an, merely an opinion or an understanding on how things were supposed to play out. The union between the two Cameroons were done in a constitutional union. The whole idea that we have never been part of Cameroon was a diversion from the legal framework of the European Union, of the African Union and the United Nations that was done primarily by Dr. Beneza Kwanga when he created the, AC, the, the Youth League of the ACYL. That ideology has dominated our struggle and it is a hardline uh, position that is not compatible with international law. I have a show of carried it on his head and stole some people who were with the Beneza Kwanga to create his own one-man show with his friends called the AGC. It was wrong. We should understand the truth that Cameroon, as we see it, is made up of two countries the French Cameroon and La Republic. That is why they don't celebrate their Independence Day and they don't want us to celebrate our Independence Day. 
the problem we have is that the French Cameroon have taken hold of that union and used it to marginalize us and wants to assimilate us. The international community knows it very, very well. So it's time for us to do things that are in line and in conformity with international law. This question has been adjudicated, adjudicated in uh, Banjun. If you read the, the judgment in Banjun, the judgment says that the requirement for union treaty was met by the African Union, was adopted in the African Union Charter after the union between the two Cameroon had already taken place. And that subject cannot be adjudicated in the jurisdiction of henceforth. So we are clear that our fight for self-determination is justified. But the basis and foundation that we have been taught have been full of contradiction that have been given Paul Bia the advantage. So we have to understand why people don't take certain things we do seriously. We have a legitimate cause to fight for our people because we have been cheated. The spirit of the agreement we had in the Republic was not respected. They take advantage of us. But it is time for us to do the hard work to be able to have a just solution for our population. You see what have become of our struggle. The power they killed in, in, uh, in Bamenda, Pachi Etanu, represent the death of the common interest in our struggle. This was the power who helped us to share flags, collect money, and did everything, yet he was assassinated. And then the same people who assassinated him, they are coming to tell Ambazonia people that that power was not killed by them, but it was killed by the people of the DDR. It means that the ADF is now DDR. And that is not a, a, a misstatement. They have been campaigning and they prefer that Ambazonia should join DDR rather than join other Ambazonian faction or exist as other Ambazonian faction because for them, it is either them or you they declare you like the public if you disagree with them. But we know that that is just primitive things and it has reduced them to a group full of illiterate. Any illiterate person have run away from that particular group. So our people should know that we are fighting for our people and we should be people-centric. There is time for everything. It is time for us now to make peace and to have a sustainable development in our country. I will be giving you people a full briefing of the violation. Other members of my organization, let me not say my organization. Some people are worried when I use the word my. Our organization indeed, they will bring some presentation and they are doing some research work. Our proposal to end this war is being finalized. We have given our Amazonians one week project to bring sustainable peace back with justice for our people. And we will do just that. Everybody will come and accept in order to participate in this new deal. We need a new social contract with La Republic that will guarantee the right of our people, self-governance and secure our territorial integrity and our sovereignty. So they have come out to talk about the death of uh, uh big general big number do not be deceived and do not let your sanity be destroyed we live in a country where if you put your thing for down you turn your back some man tivam you turn one talk they will convince you say you know be put down for there you used to say you go feel say maybe some problem then now you now you forget things then but no general efang was not killed by la republic he died because ayabacho talked and allowed them to go and kill two innocent people in Gozang. That is why he was compromised and that is why he's dead. And many other soldiers, the same thing. General Rambo was killed because of the excess money they have been using in this struggle, collecting money from ransom. When I was with the ADF, I solved every case that came to my table. Everybody that was kidnapped by the ADF was released and no money was taken. In a case where money was taken, we make sure that discipline was put in place. But today, it has become an extremist group that is killing our own people, authorizing the killing of civilians, asking people to kill francophones. So it means that in the past they were saying the good things just because I was there to secure my support and become popular. Once I leave, their real colors have come out. You could not be there criticizing Sako. Remember, we were criticizing General Lucifer for using bullet to shoot people on the leg saying that he and Sako were working for La Republic. That is why they were doing those things, because they want to destroy the struggle. Then today, I'm not there. You, Ayabacho, you are doing exactly the same thing. And then you expect that when people criticize you, they say that you, they are trying to bring you down. No, you are bringing down the struggle. You go and key a power like this. Look at that power. And then the worst thing is that you have people behind him, 
like this and the fru who is also a man command and they support this type of thing killing people like this so they also have families and uh, in any case what matters is the country and you and bazonia this is about you and we will make sure that we take our responsibility we are responsible for this struggle we are responsible for this war we are responsible for the radicalization and we will be responsible for the solution that is going to bring our people justice and lasting peace and for any ambazonia who go out and commit out crimes you have to know that you'll be held accountable there are ongoing international investigations against individuals that we know of don't be surprised some of us will stand to testify but one thing is sure those who take away innocent life will meet justice whether they are like republic or they are ambazonians or whatever reasons they choose to do so committing crimes will never be associated with our struggle there must be distinction between criminal activities in the name of ambazonia and legitimate pursuit of the people's interest of self determination we will be doing comprehensive presentation going forward because this is weekend and our people are not very engaged in in communication during the weekends who we'll do so as the day will get break for monday god bless you kapodanie signing out